Today I'm going to review the Remora Gear Slinger by Maxpedition. Another great bag that I purchased about a month ago and uh, really love this bag. I'll cover the uh, material that this is made from. It's just like the rest of them. It's made from a dinner lightweight ballistic nylon material that's coated with the uh, DuPont Teflon fabric protector. In addition to that, it has a triple polyurethane coating. So this bag has really an excellent abrasion and resistance built into it. And just like the rest of them, it has a nice uh, pair of cord pull zippers that uh, really zip well. You can see that it, it's, it's built just like the rest of them. It has the uh, double stitching on the stress points. Um, Molly webbing that's on the front as well as the, the sides here where you could use, you know, whether it's your tack ties or your mouse clips or you, you attach something to it like I have a web dominator here. And what I like to use those for is when I'm out and if I have a hat or a pair of sunglasses, just to fix that to it and you got your hat with you and it's going to stay with you. Nice little feature that I like about the uh, web dominators there. On the other side, just threaded through some of the uh, Molly attachments. I have an uh, S-beaner connected with a little cord that has um, an adjustment on it to where I can slip a water bottle in. Tighten it down and I'm hands free to hang on to my water. Has a nice handle built onto it. Um, we'll look at the uh, front zipper compartment first. And it does have a little outside one. Um, just a few things like earplugs. Um, you never know when you're going to need them. Uh, a little first aid pouch with some band aids. And you had really hard room for a few more things. Just all I had in. This outside compartment, it does have, I don't know if you can see that, but it does have some uh, elastic webbing in there, which I keep cell phone, Gerber multi-tool, never go anywhere without one. It does have a key keeper, which I have, uh, you know, just another set of spare keys on it, uh, proton light. There's a sleeve in here also that I keep uh, some pencils and notepad, flash drive. That's about it in that compartment. Go up to the main compartment. And that's nice and roomy also. Um, it has two sleeves in it, one is Velcro down. Uh, the front one, it does have some Velcro attached to it to where you can put a concealed weapon. I have my bill phone in there. Reference. Lens cleaner cloth. Eyeglass case. Paracord. Can't never have too much paracord. In the back compartment where it's velcro down. Uh, phone charger. That's about all I have in that. Just to look at the back end of it, uh, it has this nice foam cell padding on it, uh, which keeps it really comfortable on the, your side. Also, it uh, promotes a little airflow. It has a belt loop attachment. Uh, this is for about, I think, an inch and a half belt. So if you wanted to uh, attach that through your belt and keep the bag a little more secure if you're, you're really moving around. Oh, this is another compartment that uh, has the Velcro attachment and it's made for a concealed carry, which uh, I have a 380 Luger in there. A Ruger, not a Luger. And this would also, you know, if you wanted to fold down this strap and take it loose, it will fit down in there and then you could just carry it by your handle if you wanted to do that. Overall, it's a really nice bag, and I suggest if you uh, are looking for other information on the product or really have a lot of other great products also, 
the, just check out their website on www.maxpedition.com. And uh, thanks for watching my video.